so functional collection transformation again here's the idea so we are making the fruit salad and um, after selecting the oranges what do we want to do well we want to peel them and you see that you know it's like this is the same operation for all uh, the oranges okay so I, I want to transform each orange but the same way so in the functional way of expressing this is saying that oh I map the same function over that collection okay so I apply the same function to all elements so this is how I say oh, that oh this is the collection I want to transform and this is the function I'm applying to all, all the elements in the collection and map just says that well yeah do this process of taking this function and apply it to each item in the collection and just well give me back the results in another um, sequence okay so it's like if you have the square function you can square uh, these numbers and you get back the squares okay so now this is the um, important thing is that uh, especially if you are coming from a different programming language uh, where you have uh, where you build these uh, processing cycles uh, sort of manually as the, the for loop here you just have to have a function that can deal with a single element okay so that's all you need you just need to have a function that can transform a single element then if you want to transform the whole collection then you just call, call map and that's it and it's job done you don't have to set it up that oh what's the process of going through each element no it's just map your transformation function over the collection okay so let's see how that works oh yeah the cube composer is uh, has the same idea so maybe I can show it that again um, in a moment so this is the iconic uh, map call in a functional programming language and yeah, it's like I take the function inc incrementing and just map it over this collection one two three four five and I get two three four five and six But I can also do um, something like um, this function that gets a name. Um, yeah, okay, I will get, um, let's just call it this. We'll get some collision here. And what it does is that um, let's say hello like that, okay. Oopsie, yeah, I want to give a space as well. Now it's nicer. Okay, so now I can map hello if I want to greet many people. Well, let's greet Curious George. And of course, we shouldn't forget about the word itself. Okay, so of course it doesn't have to be a, a number, it's like any function, um, any data type and the corresponding function that can um, deal with that. It's important to know one thing that uh, MAP is actually lazy. No range 
Lagrange will do an infinite sequence of numbers and um, yeah I get that just a few ones well the system the Maria Cloud system just asked for it oh it'll give me a one line worth of numbers and uh, so it's not that you know you have an infinite um, sequence starting from zero and you decrement all of them which would take infinite amount of time of course and then you take 20 but it's like when 20 is needed well map will do the 20 okay so that's uh, how it works it's um this might be a, a bit um yeah, not confusing but okay let's do that so i can do you can have uh, more collections so let's do one two three okay so what it does that uh if you give it a function that can take more elements and you give more collections that takes the first from each so it's 1 plus 10 plus 100 therefore we get 111 then takes the second from each so this way you can um, sort of map a function with multiple inputs over multiple um, collections Um, yeah, just one more thing um, for beginners. Um, this is what happens that it's like you know about filter and map, and you don't see the um, the difference clearly. So map will transform the collection. You you want to have some result. Uh, filter and remove. You just select from a collection. You are not transforming it. Okay, so that's the that's the difference. And as I said before, um, if you if you go to the cube composer, then you will see that it's well. You know, as I said, it's exactly the same idea. We map this function all the uh, yellow become red so that's why we we practiced uh, this before 